Peter, welcome to uh, Vicenza Talks and Castle Mowen. It's been nearly two years that we planned to do this and uh, COVID's got in the way, but fantastic to get us outside and uh, actually uh, get the opportunity to, to chat a bit about business and uh, what's happening in the South. Yeah, no, it's, it's, um, it's really kind of you to, uh, to invite me, Steve. And um, you're right, it's been a long time coming. I've been shielding for the best part of the last 15 months, um, which has been a, it's been a really interesting experience. I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot about myself. I learned a lot about other people. I've learned a lot about the South and the, the spirit of collaboration across the South. Um, yeah, it's been ups and downs. It's been really, really tough at times. And I've, I've felt pretty isolated um, at home. And if I feel isolated in a family home, then I really feel for those who are, who are struggling on their own or in very small accommodation, um, which was unsuitable for them working at home. So yeah, it's, it's, it's been tough, but this vaccination program has enabled us to get out and about and yeah, for me to be able to come here and perch on a, on a bench um, outside talking to you, yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah, no, and we, we really appreciate you coming as well. I think, you know, you, you touched on, upon a subject there, which is a, a really about um, the way that different people are approaching this differently. I mean, we, we can talk about uh, the sort of the, the microcosm of the South rather than the, the world in general, but everywhere, you know, people are, have struggled with this with this lockdown in lots and lots of ways, you know, for yourself and the and the shielding is, you know, is a, is a massive thing where, where, as you say, that isolation is, is, is acute because you've really got to do that. Um, but that way of working and people not being interact, not being interacting and, and mixing together, um, I don't know if you see it, but you know, I, I see it every day in people that I'm talking to, the people that, that I communicate with across LinkedIn and across other channels. That, that there has been a lot of suffering. There's a, the people people have a massively different perspective on their own life and and on work life and stuff like that. What, what, what do you yeah, see? Yeah, yeah, no, you? you're you're absolutely right. And and for uh, it, the bigger picture, some tech sectors have found it much easier to adapt than others. Uh, obviously, the hospitality sector um, found it really, really brutal. Um, Non-essential retail for many months found it tough. Down here on the south, the cruise sector. You, know, you saw the cruise ships out. Yeah, yeah, lovely sight when they're out in Bournemouth, but actually yeah. you want to see them coming in Southampton Water and then going out with passengers and going have, having, having fun. Um, at a human level, human beings are social animals. They want to be in the company of others. And for me, that is, um, that's probably been the hardest part. And thank heavens that we've got some technology and the stuff that you do in Vicenza is really, really important in, in terms of enabling people to connect remotely. Um, because if, you, if you'd rolled it back a few decades and we'd had this, and you wouldn't weren't able to connect with people and businesses weren't able to, to function. Um, we had 260 remote offices essentially with people working from home. Um, yeah, it's, it, that was... It would have been possible, wouldn't it? It would have been impossible. But what, I, what, I, what I'd like to do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip this coin over. Right. Um, because I'd love to know what you, um, as the captain of Vicenza, what, what, what will you remember out of this period? Wow, okay, so we're gonna, the interviewee becomes the interviewer. Yeah, that's the lawyer in me coming out. Yeah, okay, fair, <laughs> fair, fair, fair enough, I'll, <laughs> I submit your honour. Um, good question, um, I think a lot, I think like yourself, I think, um, I think I've learned a lot about, about myself. Um, I think, I hope, I've, um, I've, I've condensed an, a, a number of, of the sort of thought processes and 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 sort of uh, beliefs of of where our, where the centre as an organisation was was going, um, you know, 
we're all commercial organisations, so you know we're, we're we're trying to make a, we're all trying to have a cup of tea out, out of what we do. Um, I think I've, I've always, from the very get go, in Vicenza has tried to create a company that is really ethical in what it does. We've obviously, you know, you've seen the posts in the in the last uh, sort of six months where we we engaged in a in a sustainability uh, audit and was highly recommended in terms of the sustainability that we have. Um, and I understand that that's an important part of what we do. Um, I think I think getting those things, it, what that did was, I think having the opportunity to sit back and reflect, as you say, in your living room or on your dining room table and go, okay, so all this stuff's going on and we're still running an organisation, but what does it really mean and what, what difference are we trying to make and can we make a difference? I think there were a number of fundamental things that almost dropped into place, which I think were as important and as continued continued on. So, um, you know, you know, one of those things I think was um, the, abil the ability for us to, to immediately flip to working from home was, was something which allowed us to then get on and help a lot of other South Coast businesses do the same rather than try and struggle of how are we going to do it ourselves. And because we'd done that for such a long time and we knew exactly what we're doing, you know, we've got clients all over the world that, we're, that, 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 we, that we do stuff for. Um, that allowed us to be really, um, we, we weren't experimenting uh, with, with the technology. We were implementing technology that we knew would work for our clients. And I think there's quite a lot of organisations have um, had to endure uh, organisations who were providing a technical fit that actually was, had to jump into it because they saw that that was an opportunity and perhaps not getting exactly the results that that they that, that they wanted, um, and I'm sure they're doing. I'm sure they're doing great now. But um, you know, we were very assured of, of that. I think the, the next thing was in terms of we wanted to make sure that the, that, that that our staff had uh, a really good um, understanding of um, how an organisation could operate when working remotely. There's been a lot in uh, in all of the channels about. Um, the sort of trust relationship with uh, with employee employer. I'd actually like to just flip back for a second and ask you a question, which is what what's your perspective or you know what is your your professional expect, uh, um, uh, perspective of this? Is that you know the the tension now from the I'm going to work from home or we want to work from home five days a week and there's been a lot of organisations that we're never going to go back to an office and and there's some organisations that are trying to force people back to an office. Some people that actually their job doesn't function unless you're actually at a place of work and there's a balance to be had there um, but it, it that's also been quite an interesting path to tread because um, giving employees equipment um, um, ensuring that they've got the right equipment to work from home it's okay to do it there, you know there's there's uh, employment aspects there's legal aspects it, it's not just a case of doing it. Um, you've got to think about the background to it. And I think that's one of the other things that I've done is to is to try and look at not just the thing that you're doing, but actually the the you know the the background to it and what it means, the trajectory going forward. Um, so so that that's a that that's one of the things. Well, what's your perspective of that, Peter? Just quickly. Yeah, I, I, we've taken stock of our sense of purpose as a business and concluded actually that's still valid. So enabling our people, our clients and our communities to thrive through having a positive experience with us, um, with the legal excellence that we've got. And internally, still committed to enabling people to be the best versions of themselves. Um, I think that in terms of the pandemic, there has been a seismic shift from process-driven organisations and task-driven to outcomes-focused, which much. then enabled you to provide the environment, provide the tools to enable people to, um, to reach the outcomes, okay, within the structure of the business and yeah. within the values of the business, but you're giving them a sense of empowerment, giving them a sense of mastery, giving them the challenging work to do. Uh, and I think that's hugely important. I think the other, the other critical piece that I've seen around the businesses that are really engaged and those um, 
that I think will stand the test of time is enabling their people to feel safe and secure. Because if you enable your people to feel safe and secure within your organisation, that then builds um, the chemical oxytocin, which builds trust. And actually you're then all going on that same journey together. And the thing that's always impressed me about Vicenza is you are very clear about your sense of purpose. You're very clear about your vision. And I know that we share the belief that actually profit is an outcome of getting everything else right. Yes, you've got to keep a focus. You've got to keep in mind efficiency and being effective in delivering that, that purpose and delivering those outcomes. But profit, say, comes from getting everything else right. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And to, to that, you, you know, going back to what else did, did, did we look at doing? What else was something that the team and I think the other thing is, is that I had a much stronger sense of um, where the team, where the team were. Um, you know, Sam, Sam and Barry and, and everybody in the team, they, they all, they do have that sense of purpose. And actually, I'm, re I'm personally really proud of that. Uh, and it's something where um, I, I could step away from the business tomorrow, and um, probably there would be no difference. Sounds a bit sad, really, but but That's actually, important. but actually, That's at the end of the day. Um, that's actually the sort of point that we've got to and for me that's a massive tick in the box that, that, that those people have been able to um, increase what they're doing, increase their responsibility from, from top to bottom in the organisation. We have that culture of you can actually move up and move on, um, growing people from, from you know, the, the first few green shoots. We've got Kickstarters doing absolutely fabulous with us and a great testament for the the fantastic uh, uh, the, the fantastic opportunity that's out there for people in in, in the south, um, but you know doing that was doing that was really important. But I think the other thing as the pandemic hit and and I, and I know you observed it was that we were re really quick to the market in terms of first of all you know we bought all of this video equipment and bought a video studio where we can actually start communicating people from a video perspective rather than going and seeing with them and, and sharing information, but also putting a lot of free guidance out there. And we saw there being a real deficit um, across the piece, and particularly again here in the South, that there that, that was a very little touch point for people to go and just go, am I doing this right? Uh, and giving, uh, guidance and assistance with with no obligation to buy was something that we put out there really quickly and I think that was massively important. Yeah and no, I think the um, the spirit of collaboration across businesses whether they be competitors or not in terms of sharing experiences sharing knowledge has been palpable um, and I hope that that will be one of the legacies that will remain post pandemic because that has been um, that's been a huge benefit um, in in creating environments, business environments that will stand the test of time for the future and enable our future generations to thrive. Mm -hmm.